<laughs> oh man, that's a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are out here fishing for redfish. It's uh we're out in the mangroves. This is kind of an easy way to do it. Uh, basically, we're using cut pin fish or some type of cut bait, casting it right up as close as you can to the mangroves or even skipping it up underneath the mangroves if you can. And then it's kind of a waiting game. Uh, I usually try a spot out for 15, 20 minutes and then I'll find another pocket of mangroves and just keep trying them out. Eventually, you're gonna find it, the cut bait, puts out a good oily scent out into the water. I usually use a two-aught or a three-aught circle hook with a split shot, and we'll just cast it out there. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, definitely think about subscribing. I do all kinds of saltwater fishing. I appreciate all you guys. Let's go catch some fish. Ooh, there we go. Uh, get out of the mangroves. Come on. I'm hooked on my other line. Come on. There we go. Nice red. Nice red. Come on. Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. Take this thing and give it up. Nice red. Come here, buddy. Nice. All right, guys, we got a nice 23 inch red right here. Definitely felt bigger. He's fighting harder. It felt way bigger, actually. It's pretty fat, nice and healthy. First fish of the day, it's been a little slow, so I'm glad we got one. Hopefully, the bite starts picking up now. So, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I tried to get triple tail again and I found one. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, but I went out there. It was pretty calm. I got way out there. I was checking 20, 30 buoys, right? I get up to one and there's a big triple tail actually on one. It's the only one I found with a triple tail on. And so I get positioned, I get a shrimp, I cast it out there and a seagull comes out of nowhere, grabs a shrimp, flies off with it. I have to yank it out of the seagull. <laughs> I have to yank it out of the seagull's mouth and then uh, I do this two or three more times it keeps attacking my my uh, shrimp and then I, I had one and then I, I made this like perfect cast right in front of the triple tail and the seagull comes again and then spooks the fish I waited for a while never saw it again so I already had some shrimp I came out here into the mangroves caught some pinfish and uh that seems to be the ticket right now. All right, guys, I see a dark patch over there. I can't tell if it's seaweed or if it's a fish, but I'm gonna toss a shrimp out there and see. Hey, freaking bird, come on, man. Oh yeah, I think it's a fish. Now let's see if the bird will, hey, get out of here, you stupid. Oh my God, it is a fish and the bird just scared it away. Come on, man. Dude, this bird is driving me insane. There's one. Oh yeah, we're on. We're 
on. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Hopefully I can pull this one in like the last one because I forgot my net. Of course, I always forget my net. Oh wait, you know what? Maybe it's in here. No, okay. Thought it came off. Nope, don't have the net. Dang it. Okay. All right. I will boat flip him. Come here. This feels like a pretty good one. Of course, this is a pretty light rod, so it makes just about any fish feel big. Another fat one, man. These things are healthy. Jeez. Gosh, these things are fat, man. Wow. Look at the size of that thing. He's not that long, they're just so freaking thick, man. It's crazy. All right, so that is a 24 inch red. Super healthy looking red. Super chubby. It's got three spots on that side, three spots on the other side. That's pretty cool. All right, I just got the boat packed up. Um, I just got those two redfish and I've been wanting to try grilled redfish on the half shell. I haven't had that yet. So I kept one of those. Plus he kind of swallowed the hook a little bit too much anyways, even though it was a circle hook, but that happens sometimes. So let's turn this video into a catch and cook. We'll head back, clean the fish, slap it on the grill. Let's go. All right, guys, we're just going to clean this like any other fish, except I'm not going to scale it because this is going to be grilled with the skin side down. <laughs> I've never done this before, so let's give it a shot. Slap his skin down. I'm gonna do skin down for a while. And then towards the end, I'll flip it just to get some grill marks on the meat. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic salt. And 
and a little bit of Chef Paul redfish magic. Actually, a lot of it because this is delicious. <laughs> Take a look at this. Dang, that looks good. It smells good too. All right, let's try to flip, get some grill marks. All right, I gotta get a little piece of this. Yeah, that's really good. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. You can definitely taste the smoke and all the seasonings. I like that. All right, guys. Well, I obviously need a shower. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give this video a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.